Hi, I am Joe Akar, and today I'm going to tell you what a perpetual calendar movement is and how it works. I hope you enjoy it. The perpetual calendar is one of the most difficult complications in a movement for a watchmaker to create. The only way for anyone to truly appreciate and understand the complexity of a perpetual calendar movement is to really understand what Leap Year is all about. For those of you whose memory is as bad as mine and don't remember learning about Leap Year in the fifth grade, here's a quick refresher. It's generally accepted knowledge that a year is equivalent of 365 days. But if we're being accurate, it's really 365.25 days because that's how long it takes the Earth to fully orbit the Sun. So if you multiply that extra 0.25 day by 24 hours, you get 6 hours. So a year is really 365 days and 6 hours. Over the course of 4 years, that adds up to 24 hours or 1 day. We must adjust for that difference because otherwise every 300 years our seasons will change from summer to spring and winter to fall and so on. Leap year was developed to make up for that extra accumulation, which basically means every 4 years February gets 29 days instead of 28. Problem solved, right? Not really, because that 0.25 day is not really 0.25, it's 0.2422. So now what? We've been adjusting the calendar based on that nice round figure of 0.25 extra days. But have no fear, astronomers think of everything. To make up for that discrepancy, we cancel the leap year every 100 years. And that is exactly why every perpetual calendar watch must be reset every 100 years. But wait, what happens to our watches every month and year? Do we have to adjust for the months that have 28, 30, and 31 days? Not if your timepiece is a perpetual calendar, it will do it all for you, as long as you remember to reset it every 100 years. Now that you caught up astronomically, let's go back to timepieces. Every perpetual calendar must have the leap year indicator that displays the number of the leap year, otherwise it is not a perpetual calendar watch. This is one of the few cases where I highly recommend the watch winder to keep it running smoothly and prevent you from having to adjust the movement. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something else you'd like to know about your watch, please let us know on the comments box or on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you. Have a good day.